I've come to one of the biggest food companies in the world, and they use this factory to test out new recipes. Malcolm is one of their top scientists, and he's invited me to try two samples of soft drink, fish and vegetables. They were all made on the same day, but I can tell just by looking at them that one sample of each seems fine, while the other has definitely gone off. And as for the smell coming off one of the fish... <laughs> I can feel my breakfast. <laughs> Right, now this is, this is a perfectly good herring. Right. It's in reasonable condition. Lovely. And this fish... It stinks. It is so gross. fish is oozing some horrible white fluid. I really would not like to open this I'm fish. not even going to go there, Malcolm, no, OK? No, there's quite a strong smell coming. Even it's been wrapped in two plastic bags and it's still smelling through all that one. If they're all made on the same day, why some stay fresh and the others gone off? Well, that's where the chemistry comes in. As a hint, this is a pH mixer. Right. So we need to test the pH of all these foods. Using the pH meter, it's obvious that the good samples had a much lower pH. They were more acidic than the ones that had gone off. So what's going on? Well, what makes food go off? The answer is bacteria. Bacteria love growing at neutral pH, near pH 7. And as the pH gets more and more acidic, the bacteria grow less and less well. I can show you this, if you look over there, we have a series of flasks containing soft drinks um, ranging from pH 7 to pH 2. Now we put bacteria in all of these flasks, but as you can see they've only grown in pH 7, pH 6 and pH 5, forming this thick cloud of bacteria. At low pH, pH 4, pH 3 and pH 2, it's still completely clear, and the acid in the soft drink has killed those bacteria. So you put acids into food? Isn't that dangerous? Well, no, not if you know your pH scale and you carefully measure the amount of acid you put in. And this is what we do to all our foods. So the reason that some of the products have gone off is that they have a pH close to 7, that is neutral, and they now have bacteria growing in them, making them seriously disgusting. The foods with a lower pH, that is more acidic, have stayed good and are still edible. <laughs>